Hey guys, today on Bird Box Racing 4x4, we figure out the e-brake cable setup for the rear disc brake swap. Hey guys, just a quick note before the video starts. If you're enjoying this content at all, please consider subscribing. It does help the channel a lot. And it uh, gives me the motivation to make more videos for you. Anyways, have a good one and enjoy the video. Today, I'm going to do a follow-up on uh, by far my most popular video, which was the uh, easy rear disc brake swap for an MGB. Okay, so I've kind of got the emergency brake setup thought out here. What I'm using is a universal kit from Jags. I'll put the link in the description below. But basically, it comes with two cables. You cut them to the length, and they've got the end for the caliper already on it. Okay, so here's the setup basically as it would sit under the car. Your cable comes in, it's got this little sleeve on it that goes inside this jacket. You cut the cable to whatever length you need. The end of the cable gets held in place by these set screws. And then this is your adjustment. And you need to pin this to your lever, which is this guy. Now, as you can see, it's um, that lever. The hole's just a little bigger than the pin. So what we're gonna do, because this is sized just about perfectly to fit over that, like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten this out, take this bend out of this piece, and then plug weld the holes shut and re-drill it for this sized pin, which I think is 5 16 and then we'll have a nice setup that everything works and uh, it should all be good and if the length's a little and if the swing on this is too short i can always build a longer lever but i think it's going to work out about nicely i think if anything it's going to be too long which is okay because it just means you move the handle less that's all okay so you can see here we've got all our pieces laid out again and this is the piece we're modifying. All I did was plug weld the end, grind it more or less flat, <laughs> drilled it out with a 5 16 drill bit, and uh, there we go. See if it works. Well, there we go. Yeah, that'll work really nicely. So all we gotta do is we bolt this on, I don't know, three inches back so the cables have some space to work and then um, it'll uh, it'll pivot okay guys so we've kind of got this marked up I've got two brackets here that I stole off of a Mazda RX-8 rear end uh, it's an independent rear suspension it's just it was just convenient that's all um, but you could easily make the same thing out of some quarter inch plate or that might be 3 16 either way easy to make um, I just didn't have any plate handy uh, but all we've done is we've lined this up so the cables are as straight a pull as possible I took the springs off and made sure I, and cycled it through most of its throw to make sure the cable would stay in line and wouldn't be pulling at too much of an angle and we're all good there so now all i gotta do is weld them on but we're gonna pull the cables out for doing that because i don't want to damage them with heat um anyway so i'm gonna weld these and i'll be back with you in just a couple minutes
Okay, so you can see we're all done here. We've got our bracket nicely welded on. We've got the cable run to that. I realize, yes, they are on different planes, but the only way to get them on the same plane would have been to have the plug down here and then your cable would want to run through the middle of the axle tube. I tried it underneath, tried it on top. This was the closest one I could get and that'll be just fine. Honestly, as it comes down, it'll line up be a bit better and it'll be fine. And we got the same thing going on over here. So one thing to note is this pin and this bracket, those are factory MGB parts. It's just the cable and this part that's all new. Same on this side, MGB pin, MGB bracket, and then this is all new. So that'll be all for today, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna get this all into the car, get the brake lever mounted, get the axle mounted, and get that all finished. Um, if you've enjoyed this, again, please consider subscribing. It really does help me, motivate me to get out here and make these videos. Um, anyways, that's all. Have a good day, and we'll catch you later. Thanks.